evening, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Technic Trials with your host, Nighthawk. Uh, today we're going to do a little bit of uh, work in the nether. Uh, I've been having a whole bunch of problems with the teleport pipes, and uh, research says that I could downgrade my the uh, version of the teleport pipes that I'm using, but uh, yeah, I kind of just don't want to even deal with it. Um, look at all that taint. I'm going to have to do something about that at some point. So, um, since I really don't want to deal with uh, the broken teleport pipes, we need a different way to handle the problem. So, what we're going to start by doing is a little bit of experimentation here. Woo! Ah! Die. So, um, I've gotten all my armor back out, and I seem to be having issues here. Uh, there we go. Um, gotten all my armor back out and put all my armor on, and what I'm going to, uh, yeah, that's kind of what I thought was going to happen. What if we... So, and I've done a little bit of research on this, and uh, I saw... How did he get it to flow, then? Uh, Etho has his blaze farm that uses water to move blazes around. And uh, basically, I'm just... Uh, first thing we I want to do is figure out... Well, how he managed to make that work. So I brought some water buckets over. And the way that his... He, he has water up on a... Uh, in a uh, kind of a platform that's uh, suspended way above the uh, ground that flows down. Apparently it doesn't. Apparently it has to be more than just suspended. So um, anyway, I'm, what we'll do first is because we'll know we we know there's a way to do it. We just got to figure out how to do it. So we're gonna come down and see if we can find our way into this uh, fortress here. And. What we'll do is we'll uh, track down a blaze spawner, and we'll start working on setting up a blaze farm. Uh, basically, the reason that we need the blaze farm is in order to make, uh, in order to give ourselves another way of getting the uh, similar uh, utility that the teleport pipes give us we need to make ender chests, and those require uh, blaze rods to make. Um, we're also going to want... Uh, we can also use ender pouches, and what we'll do is, with the ender chests, you can assign different colors to them, uh, different color patterns, and they contain different inventories. So what we'll do is we will set up... Uh, uh, first, we're going to go back here and mark our entry point with a waypoint, because otherwise I'm going to get lost like you wouldn't believe. Um, we'll set up a ender chest for each type of... Uh, each of our uh, various items that we'd be using teleport pipes for. And then in our crafting system, we'll just have a whole bunch of them stretched out along the walls. And then now, uh, that's how we'll actually uh, keep them working. I see a chest. Nope, that is a blaze spawner there. We found our blaze spawner. Now what we're... Whoa! Get out of here, rat! Thank <laughs> you. 
Um, what we need to do here is disable the spawner so that we can safely start working on turning it into a farm. And let's, let's try to get in here and get some light on this subject. This would be really helpful to have uh, potions. Sword. Yikes. I am on fire. And I just... <laughs> that was silly. Um, so yeah, that's <laughs> death number one trying to get this thing started to be set up. I hope that doesn't mean my stuff ended up over the edge. Uh, this way. Um, this is also why I left behind a lot of this stuff in the... in our caves below the... Uh, or right by the portal. Because I knew I was probably going to die a couple of times in this effort. Um, anyway... I'm going to uh, go and get my stuff, and then I'll pause the recording and get the uh, start getting some of the stuff prepared to build this uh, farm. Let's see if I can do this without, without killing myself. Those stupid rats. Go back down here. you see I'm busy? Okay, let's see here. Haha. Ha. You showed him who's boss. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this. I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, spawner disabled, and I will be right back. And we're back. Um, I've somewhat given up on actually starting the blaze farm for the moment, mostly because I'm having a whole lot of trouble getting any sort of a foothold there. But uh, I was able to get a few blaze rods so that uh, we can at least get started putting together some of these ender chests. So uh, basically the recipe is we take four blaze rods around the corners, we put an ender pearl at the bottom, Let's add some obsidian and wool and a chest, and we get an ender chest. So let's go ahead and request a couple of those. Uh, there they are. We'll request two of them for now. I did end up just uh, using the transmutation tablet to make uh, a few more blaze rods for our purposes here. And what we'll do is we'll start by going down to the sorting facility here. And this still does not uh, solve the problem that we'll have with uh, using uh, or moving fluids around, but at least it gets us through. Uh, that's why those aren't recharging. Uh, at least it gets it takes care of the uh, item problems that we'd have. So basically, these ender chests. Uh, these are a little different than vanilla Minecraft. They have three little wool pads on the top here. And any ender chest that you put down with the same three, uh, same color pad, or color pattern, shares the same inventory no matter where it is. So uh, you can put these in 
the nether, in the end, wherever you need them, and uh, transport items around very quickly and easily that way. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put the uh, one that's all white is going to be our sorting input. So we can put down a, if we put down an ender chest without doing anything to it, it should end up with just the uh, three white across like so, which means that we can now use that as a quick and easy way to transport any, uh, any items anywhere to our sorting facility. Um, the other thing that this doesn't help us do is it doesn't give us access, uh, it doesn't give us remote access to the crafting system. So we'll need to make sure that we have some some of the basics available regardless of where we are uh, in a chest like the, oh, that we can use for it. Um, you can see the texture while I'm holding it is kind of weird. And apparently another thing that needs to be updated on the Sfax texture pack. Um, anyway, another item that we want to get uh, is this ender pouch. And that takes blaze powder, which is we can get by macerating blaze rods, and leather, ender pearl, and a wool. And what this will do is let us access the ender chest remotely. And let's see, I think we have all that we need in order to make that here. I think I got all the wool. Yes, I did. Um, I'm looking to see leather. I don't have a lot of leather right now. Um, we'll probably want to start like a uh, cow farm and some other things like that at some point before too awfully long. Let's go ahead and start getting this set up. Uh, you can also see I'm starting another row on the crafting wall. Uh, so this will be row four already. Um, I kind of imagine that this room is going to get pretty full by the time we're actually done. Grab an ender ball. Put that in the middle. Wool at the bottom. If I'm right, yes I am. Grab a blaze rod and we'll go macerate that and make some more. We'll teach our transmutation tablet how to make the uh, blaze powder. And uh, like I said, we'll also uh, I do still plan on setting up the blaze farms. It's just going to take a little bit longer than I anticipated to do so. Uh, just because I'm not quite as well equipped as I thought I was. And uh, I'm just having a really hard time getting a foothold into the uh, into those areas to and getting the blaze shut down enough to get them killed. And get the uh, to get them killed and to get access to the uh, to actually build up the uh, spawning area. So what we're going to do now that we have, I guess I should have made more blaze powder than that, because that's not going to uh, that's only going to be enough to actually set up the crafting, not actually make any. Uh, we'll use that as a target. Um, there. There we go. That'll be enough for the time being anyway. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what we're going to end up doing. And uh, once I get the blaze farm actually set up and operating, then we'll get it running so that it will send, uh, so it will ship all of the uh, blaze into another, into an ender chest that will uh, pipe into our system here. So we get these set up like so. Tell the system how to make it. 
And we'll go ahead and grab uh, craft. Where is it hiding? There it is. Grab one of these. Um, we only really need one at the moment. I get a little confused trying to figure out how to get back here. And this, uh, what we can do here is we'll come back in here. Um, and if we, you can see the uh, ender chest behind just opened up to uh, any of the ender chests that are on the same frequency or same pattern will all open up at the same time. And we'll, we can stick our dirt in here and see that it got sorted over right away. Oh, we do have more leather. We just actually have to uh, move it. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the general idea here. We'll also change out all of the... We'll change all of these chests out. How much... Uh, that's full. I think we can uh, turn this off for a little while. Do I really not have any redstone torches? Fine. We'll just change this so redstone is required. And that'll just finish stocking up energy. Um, I did end up with a problem for a little while where it was running out of sand on the induction smelter, and it caused all kinds of problems. Um, looks, looks like I still have some things that need to be smelted here. But we have tons and tons of sand back in the system again, so we won't uh, worry too much about it. While we're here, we'll go ahead and get this all added in running. See, it's running pretty quick. Um, then we'll go take a look at the... I think I'll probably end up turning off the uh, combustion engines. We'll go ahead and do that while we wait for that to smelt. Or at least most of them. Because we're not going to be using as much ener of the uh, Buildcraft energy for a little while. Since we have some other construction projects that we have to attend to first. Uh, okay, fine. So we'll plug that back in. We'll just we'll leave two of them running for the moment. Uh, basically, we don't have any fuel production right now because of our teleport pipes all going haywire. So there's no oil going into the refineries, which means there's no fuel being produced to keep these guys topped up. Um, they do have a pretty good fuel reserve on... I think all of them are full right now, but we don't want to... Uh, we don't want to just waste their production. I like it. I even put a uh, gold pipe back in here to try and turn the refinery back on, and it did absolutely nothing. So I think what we'll uh, what we're going to plan on doing long term for power uh, is we'll we'll kind of do some interesting things with railcraft, but it's going to take a fair bit of time to get all of that set up and ready to go. I hear some, I hear a zombie beating on my door. Must be upstairs. Stupid zombies. Stupid zombies, don't you know you aren't allowed to come in here? Where are you? There you are. Go away. Um, and in just a moment we'll head back over to the nether and... Um, take another look at what we're doing in there. And see if maybe we can make a little bit more progress at... Uh, getting some sort of a harvester going. Oh, I needed to go get more torches as part of the problem I was having. Is I actually ran out of torches. So let's go back up top here. And let's go ahead and toss those in. Um, I want to go down. 
that didn't help at all. There we go. Now we're making progress towards the torches, I think. There they are. Um, we're going to need a lot more than that. Let's go ahead and stick these here and put some more iron in. And we're also going to need more building materials. We'll get some stone bricks to use. I think I just made some EMC disappear. hate it when I do that. At least it wasn't a fully charged Kleinstar Omega or something like that. That really sucks to burn that much EMC. Okay, we're going to go down and put some stuff away, and then we'll get back into the nether. And you can see kind of what I've started working on. We'll just go ahead and stick uh, some of this stuff in this bag. And, yeah, that can go in there. We did get some nether wart. I did a little bit more exploring of the fortress and found some nether wart and some other stuff. Come on, charge up. So at least we made some progress. Uh, well, we get uh, got some cool stuff there. Um, I'm going to need to do a little bit more work on potions. I've done a little bit here and there, but not a whole lot, and I'm not as familiar with potions as probably I should be. And I think it would probably be a whole lot easier to get this uh, blaze farm built if I had some, uh, if I had uh, immunity to fire, like say fire resist potions. Those would be absolutely magnificent for this purpose, but uh, yeah, I don't have any of those yet. Maybe we will have to dig into that a little bit here soon. That's good enough. So let's go ahead, we'll put both of those in. We'll leave our wrench behind. We'll leave our Klein Star. Our bucket we don't need until we figure out how to actually do the uh, water. And we're probably not going to be able to get a complete blaze farm system in place until we figure out how to do the water. Uh, but I'll do a little bit of research on that and maybe next episode before we have it fully working. Well, probably be next episode, given that I haven't even gotten one disabled enough to build the uh, surrounding uh, supports, or build the actual spawn chamber yet. So maybe, if we're lucky, this will have uh, let some of these despawn. And I'm going to try coming in from a different direction. Let's see if I can at least get a platform out to him. Whoa, no, no! Oh, man! That sucked. Stupid rat. Oh, I will be back. And we're back. And, uh... I did a little bit more uh, getting some stuff ready to go, got a uh, new sword, new pick, and made a whole bunch more blocks and things like that, and left a whole bunch inside of the, uh, just inside our entry point, so that if we die again, or maybe I should say when we die again, we can have some stuff to gear up from. Um, so yeah, hopefully I can manage to do a little bit better this time. That was a 
abysmal last time. That last effort. I think I got about four blocks placed and then died. And that's just not a pretty thing. I suppose it could be amusing to watch, but... Um, I also made a bow, or actually I found a bow, and made a bunch of arrows, and, uh, yeah, so we got some, a little bit more resources here now. Um, the nether rack here was actually because I was trying to, uh, I was going to use that to light the place up a little bit by setting it on fire. But uh, apparently one of the times that I died, I lost the flint and steel that I had. So, uh, yeah. Would you get away? Jeez, can't a guy build in peace here? Obviously not. Let's go up here and light this up a little bit, too. See if this helps matters any. I just saw a fire horse thing. I don't know if the uh, nether rat spawn is affected by light at all. I know the uh, overworld they are. So maybe that will help slow them down a little bit. I guess I could remove that death point, since there's pretty much uh, no way we're ever going to get to uh, that point. I hear places spawning already. And I was hoping to avoid having them spawn quite so soon. I don't see any yet. I sure hear them, though. Um, so, I'm kind of the idea that I'm working from here is I'm going to try and come in on the other side of them and get uh, things cut out underneath, and maybe that will help to uh, control it a little bit better. It's just kind of scary working out underneath of the... Uh, platform this way. There we go, making some progress. Still don't see any. started working out underneath of it on the other side um, when they kind of overran me again. Trying to make sure they can't spawn out here. Let's cut into this uh, wall a little bit. I think I see one smoldering over here. There they are. Got one of them killed. So, um, basically, my understanding from watching Ethos videos is that, uh, the blaze require a light level of 11 or lower to spawn. So if we can get the light level out here up a little bit, then we should be able to keep them from spawning, or at least spawning as much. Horrible archer on this game. Go. 
That's a little better. Um, and they also will spawn within a an 8x8 area around the spawner. Hey, come back here. Get back down here. Um, so that's part of why I'm going out so far this direction. Don't light me on fire. And we need to eat before we die from being on fire. Hey, no, they're sneaking up on me. And, uh, then the other thing we need to, uh, so we need to have an 8x8 room will maximize our spawning area when we're actually ready for them to spawn. And the way that I saw Etho had his blaze uh, spawners disabled was he had surrounded them with uh, cobblestone so that they had nowhere that they could actually spawn. So that's kind of what I would tell. Uh, planned on doing originally here before I got uh, horribly interrupted by them. Uh, I'm not sure what the easiest way of getting them surrounded is. Would you guys just go away? So yeah, that's kind of the... I think I'm spending more time fighting the blaze at this point than I am actually making progress building anything. Which is uh, less than ideal. They keep lighting my building uh, on fire here. Good thing I'm not trying to build this out of wood. Really want. What I really want to do is get that spawner disabled so that I can actually work on this. I hear horses somewhere. Let's try digging out some more of this wall. may have to just leave the area and let these guys despawn some. Try and widen this area out so we can make sure we get the whole 8x8 area disabled. Okay, where's the scorpion I just heard? There it is. Been very tempted to disable those in uh, Mo Creatures. And die already. And again, we die in the a blaze of lava. Fortunately, I didn't take uh, anything uh, too critical in there with me. Um, 
I did end up losing my Philosopher's Stone the last time I died in the Nether. Um, so I'm going to have to make a new one of those. Okay, that's... There it is. It changed its sort order on me. There we go. Um, so, yeah, that was less than ideal. Um, let's see, I also need a bow again. Let's see what gets us low. Let's try going down here. Uh, let's see. There we go. There's a bow. Gonna need more iron. So that's why there's now a crafting table here, is to, uh, Oh, account for that. Now, if I did this right, I didn't do that right. Darn it, I didn't want two pairs of boots, oh well. Okay, we got our helmet, some boots, some legs going to go through a ton of iron and everything else in the process of doing this. Oh well. And the rest of the stuff is downstairs right next to the nether portal. And uh, yeah, hopefully we, hopefully we can make some more progress here. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and pause again and I will bring it back, uh, start recording again once I get a little bit closer to having our um, blaze farm set up. So I will be back shortly. And we're back. And um, I did just look at the amount of time that I've had on the uh, recording so far. and um, So this is going to be pretty much wrapping it up here. Um, I did make a little bit more progress opening up the uh, platform here. Um, I still need to get the rest of the way around the other side, um, which will hopefully reduce the number of blaze that are spawning here. And of course I managed to die a couple more times in the process, and uh, yeah, it gets a little on the expensive side, but uh, it will all be worth it in the end, I think, once we get these blaze up and running. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoy this series, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye!